you guys and welcome to my channel so today we are going to be doing a video on my montel and mancera perfume collection and y'all know i'm gonna keep it real uh, before we get started you guys go ahead and make sure that you are subscribed to me make sure that you are following me on instagram my name is amber chantel spelled the same way and make sure that you like this video and if you don't like this video you can <laughs> Go ahead about your business. So let's just get started. I'm going to start with my favorites, okay? So one of my favorites, favorites of the collection. And if y'all don't know, Montel and my uh, Mancera are, you know, from the same house designer or whatever. Um, they're just two different lines, okay? So some people say they love um, Mancera more than Montel. I will say that, you know what? I can't even, I can't even say that I love one more than the other because I have like some favorites in each line. One of my favorites, y'all, the Mancera Holidays. Y'all, I love this perfume. This perfume is perfect for right now too because it's so vacation-y coconutty it has like that sunscreen um type of smell and when i tell y'all this lasts this lasts so well you guys and it smells so familiar and i just cannot get my like put my finger on what it smells like but it kind of smells like a certain hair product but it smells so good mm, and it smells like nostalgic but it lasts forever you guys and it's not that easy to find like um, them type of like coconutty perfumes, creamy coconut, coconutty stuff that really lasts. But this one really does last. I love this one. This bottle look huge. Oh, it's four ounces. So it'd be so much perfume in these. But y'all, the Mancera's are really worth it because they so big. Like look how big this bottle is. Oh, see, I swear you guys, every time I pluck a gray hair, her friends come and be like, bitch, you thought? They always just come back. They some haters. For real, for real. Ugh. Every, it's like, at first I started with a couple gray hairs, and now it seems like everywhere I part my hair, it be gray. And it's mainly just in the front. It's not really in the back, just up here. If I keep on plucking them, I ain't gonna have no damn hair. I'm gonna be looking like a plucked ass chicken. Oh, one of my favorites, The Sensual Instinct. And I talk about this all the time this one smells so good <laughs> now if you get a tester this little thing so this little thing that goes in here is supposed to go around the um neck so that you can't because it don't come with a cap so that you can't push it down so you can travel with it but if you get a tester this thing don't come out which i don't understand why they even did that seem like it's more work to do it like y'all did it but anyways I love this and um now a lot of people say this uh smells like Baccarat Rouge and I did smell that one when I went to Neiman Marcus and it did smell very similar to that so I guess this might be like a good dupe or whatever I don't know which one came out first but I know this one been out for a long time and I will say this one lasts pretty good on me very well and it's just so sexy y'all oh it's so sexy like it has some dark berries and um rose and benzo and it smells so good y'all oh my god so that one is one of my favorites like i wear that nighttime going out something like that i wore that for valentine's day last valentine's day <laughs> and we had a good time mm, yeah so that's one of my favorites um okay the next one that we have is the Wild Python. This is by Mancera. Look at this pretty bottle. Oh, that's that Python on y'all is sexy. I love this perfume, you guys. This one smells like, this one has tuberose in it, which is my favorite note, but it opens up with like a yellow flower. It's, it's really sexy. The dry down is phenomenal the dry down is so so far and it has really good longevity i really like this one 
it's beautiful it's really really pretty you guys mm. so yes it's very exquisite now y'all know i'm gonna have to keep it real i got those out the way this is my issue you guys with Martel and mancera it seemed like they have so many perfumes in their collection like so many perfumes that smell so much alike the roses vanilla the wild candy the starry night and the dark purple let me just test these okay so let's talk about it the roses vanilla so the roses vanilla this one, I'm going to be honest, when I first bought it, I didn't really care for it um, because it's this very, it's a rose. It say rose vanilla, but it doesn't, it's, it's different. It's very tart. And when you think of roses and vanilla, you don't think of like tartness. But to me, like this is very, has like this tanginess, tartness to it or something. But it smells good, but it's not like really what you expect. Okay, so I like it. I, I will say I don't wear this one as often. I don't know. I like it, but it's not what I expected. It does have decent performance, but some of them have better, a lot better. Okay, so this is cool. Decent performance or whatever. So then after I had bought that one, you guys, I bought the Wild Candy wow candy okay so this one was supposed to have like fruits and chocolate in it or something like that so i'm like okay that sounds like it smells good now let me test this one so when i spray this one you guys okay it's similar it's very similar to the wow candy hmm mm, that wow candy smell good now the wild candy is louder it seems louder than the uh roses vanilla but i think i remember the roses vanilla lasting longer and they have a very similar like the similar a similar dna this one has more vanilla the roses vanilla but that tartness is still there this is like chocolate like them dried fruits with chocolate over them chocolate covered dried fruits that's what this smells like it smells good <laughs> This smells really good, but okay. So those are kind of similar, but I think I like the wild candy more. Okay. So then let's go on to the next one, you guys. So I do like, you know, the wild candy it smells good. So then after that, I bought the starry night and I put this in the last, I think it was my last haul. Starry Night is strong. I told y'all, like, this is super strong. I mean, so this kind of has that DNA, but it's, like, so much patchouli, like, on top of it. It lasts forever. Y'all, I took a shower, and this was still on me. It's everlasting. But this is definitely a unisex, Um, but oh, it smells so good to me. I don't know. It smells so good. It's unisex. I can see a woman wearing it. When I first smelled it, it, it smelled like feminine. But now that I smell it, I can see a man wearing it. I can see how it can be a cologne. So, it, like, a man or a woman can really pull this off. Now, the last one that I bought, you guys. This was the one where I was like... Because not too long ago, I bought a discovery kit of the Montels. And... This one was in it. This is the dark purple. And um, I really like, I remember really liking it. So I'm just getting around to buying it, you guys. It just came not too long ago. And I remember it smelling more purple. I don't even know how to else explain it. Y'all know how purple perfume smell. I remember it smelling more purple. But then you guys, like when I sprayed it, it reminded me of the starry night. And I'm like, okay, am I going crazy? Let me see. I 
y'all, where is it? Okay. This smells very similar to the Starry Night. Starry Night is more loud. Um, this is more subdued. Like the dark purple is like more subdued. It doesn't have as much patchouli. But for real, you guys, the dark purple is like a little less intense version of the Starry Nights. So I'm sitting here like, okay, the, the Roses Vanille smells similar to the Wild Candy. Starry Nights smells similar to... Y'all need to get it together because I heard that the Intense Cafe smells just like the... Uh, I think they say the Intense Cafe smells like the Sensual Instinct. But yeah, y'all, that is, you know... That's all I have to say. That was my whole review of the line. I'm telling y'all, the ones that are the hits are the holidays, in my opinion. But you have to like that type of perfume. You gotta like that kind of sunscreen, coconut type of beach smell. But it's good to me. And Sensual Instinct, probably my favorite. And... Wild Python, like these three to me are my favorites. And I mean, I like these. I like all the other ones. I just don't like how they smell so similar. I need to get my hair done bad. But yeah, y'all did my little poom pooms. Yeah. All right, you guys. So thank you for tuning in. And my next video, I'm going to do a declutter. Mm -hmm. I'm getting rid of some stuff. Thank you guys for watching my video. And make sure that you subscribe. Stop being phony and watching me and not subscribing. And make sure y'all share my videos because don't try to keep me to yourself. Sharing is caring. Be yourself. Be you. Be beautiful. Beautiful begins the moment you start to be yourself. And have a great day, you guys. Bye-bye.